I'm Barb and welcome to my kitchen and today I am showing you my very favorite zucchini bread recipe. I grew a zucchini this summer and so we had a lot of zucchini and so I fooled with this all summer and now I'm ready to unveil it. It's maybe not 100% the healthiest thing I make but it's definitely one of the most delicious things. So let's get started. Um, before you get too into it you want to get th two things prepped. So I have made my flax egg. So it's a tablespoon of flax seed, ground flax seed with two and a half tablespoons of water. So you just let that sit for a little bit and it gets, um, it acts like a binder instead of using egg. So it gives us some good omega-3s but no cholesterol or saturated fat. Then the other thing I did was shredded my zucchini. So it's about one medium zucchini and I shredded it onto um, some paper towel and just pressed it a little bit to get the moisture out of it. It ends up being about two cups of zucchini. Um, you don't have to be super exact about it. I just kind of liked being able to use up a whole zucchini because we had so much zucchini from the garden. So I prepped those two things and then we'll talk about the rest of the ingredients as we go along. So let's get started. We'll do our wet ingredients first. So I'm gonna get my flax egg into the bowl. And then I have um, a half a cup of almond milk. You can use plain soy milk, whatever your favorite plant-based milk is. So a half a cup of that. And then I have, instead of oil, I have been using mashed banana. So I have a quarter cup of mashed banana. When you substitute the banana for the oil, the, your bread's gonna be a little more dense, but um, then you don't have oil in it. So that's, that's my little substitution right there. So we'll get those mixed in. And then, okay, so here comes the not healthiest thing in the world part. So it's three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I am probably gonna fool around with dates and see if I can figure out a different way to sub, but in the other zucchini bread recipes that I've been looking at, this is a lot less sugar than what normally goes in. So kind of morph several recipes together. See the dogs hanging around, waiting anxiously for this. Um, okay, so we get those mixed in, and now I'm ready for my dry ingredients. In the meantime, I've got my oven preheating to 350, and I've lined a loaf pan with foil, sprayed a little bit on the bottom, or you could use non-stick foil or some parchment. Um, okay, so I need two cups of flour, and I have been experimenting a little bit with the flour. So I have one cup of whole wheat. You could use all whole wheat. Again, it's going to make it a little more dense. Um, so I have a cup of whole wheat and then I used a cup of regular flour. I've also experimented with oat flour, almond flour. So really you can make this gluten-free, use whatever flour works best for you. So I've done a little half and half right there. And then we have a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. So we'll put that in. Now here's what, let's get our zucchini in there too. Throw my zucchini in, see if I can do this without making a huge mess so that'll add some moisture. I'm just gonna throw that all in there. It's being a little bit messy, but that's okay. So I get my two cups of zucchini in there. Uh, taken care of. All right, now the thing that makes this zucchini bread stand out from other zucchini breads is some spice that I'm gonna add. So I have two tablespoons, or not tablespoons, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and then a half a teaspoon of cloves and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we'll put that in. That smells really good. Okay, so pretty thick. It smells the cinnamon makes it smell really good. So that's kind of my surprise ingredients for um, this recipe. 
Oops, I'm making a big mess too. All right, the last thing we can put in are, if you want to add some chocolate chips, you can find vegan chocolate chips. Add in as many chocolate chips as what you feel like you want to add. Get that mixed around. Make sure all the ingredients are incorporated. And then I'm ready to put it into my pan. This is going to be good. Sorry, my nose feels like it's running a little bit. The sagebrush is blooming here in Idaho. Excuse me, whoops, little bit of a runny nose. Okay, and then the last thing I'd like to add to the top is some chopped walnuts. So I'm gonna put that on the top. And I'm gonna put this in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes and we'll see you when it's all done. Here's our finished product, fresh out of the oven. It looks moist and delicious, and I guarantee you it is not going to last very long at our house. So check out my website at eatforhealthllc.com for more delicious recipes, and I'll see you soon.